Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hello, I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 27th of January, and we start the warm-up today. And by golly, by the time the weekend gets here, we might be close to 60 degrees, and that'll feel pretty good. Let's go right to some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. First off, coming from Tuscaloosa. Looking north from the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse, the sky is clear, pretty cold. Everybody well below the freezing mark. Go down to Auburn in Lee County, clear and cold there. And down in Butler County, below Montgomery, Greenville, the Camellia City. And even down there, uh, temperatures are in the low 30s. Well, the big uh, northeastern storm is winding down. What a storm that was. Thunder snow for Washington, D.C. and Philadelphia, Baltimore. Tremendous, tremendous snows up in there, but it's winding down this morning. Still snowing up around Boston. Here's a look at our numbers. Everybody in the 20s. Pretty consistent. Uh, 25 at Haleyville, Gadsden, Anniston. 27 for most spots in uh, Birmingham, sitting at 28. And around the nation, temperatures are seasonal. It's cold, but, you know, we don't see any sub-zero cold. And by golly, uh, with that in the, the, being the case, uh, we think the weather begins to warm up in coming days. Watch warning map. Everything is calm. The uh, winter storm warnings continue for coastal New England, but even up there, that big storm will be over by mid-morning. And look at that. The whole country is awfully quiet. That's good. There's the precipitation for the next five days, valid through Monday evening at 6 o'clock, and this is suggesting maybe a tenth of an inch here early next week. And, uh, again, no doubt it's going to rain on us a little bit next week, but how much rain and when, that remains to be seen. Check the modeling. This is the 06Z GFS at noon today. A little energy is coming through here, but there's no moisture, so I guess we'll call it partly sunny. And uh, after the cold start this morning, we should warm up very effectively today with low and mid-50s for uh, tomorrow. Lots of sunshine. Again, we'll be up in the uh, middle 50s as the warming trend continues. And by golly, on Saturday, the models keep warming us up. The uh, GFS is showing 62. The NAM goes nuts. It's showing 69. Are you kidding me? We think that's a little unreasonable, but uh, we will roll with that 62 on Saturday. And then Sunday, we will see an increase in cloud cover with that little impulse coming through Louisiana. And down below, the GFS again is suggesting that parts of South Alabama could see some rain uh, Sunday. And uh, for now, we've got increasingly cloudy conditions in the forecast. And we might need to mention some risk of rain maybe by late Sunday or Sunday night here. And then next week will be relatively unsettled. There's a look at Monday, and you can see the deal. We've got that polar vortex over Hudson Bay. Thank goodness it's positioned a little north now from where the models were showing a week ago because we don't want to get an ice storm here. Trough in the southwest sending out those little uh, ripples from that. And Monday, again, uh, the models suggesting it will be cloudy and mild and maybe some rain. Look at the very cold air up north, though, 1,044 millibar high, but it's not affecting us. There's Tuesday. You can see uh, more widespread rain moving in. Wednesday looks wet. And Thursday, it's gone. It turns colder, but nothing excessively cold. And then uh, Friday looks uh, dry and cool. Let's check the European solution next week. There's Monday. Looks wet. Tuesday, here comes the next impulse, and that we'd be kind of in between. And then Wednesday, we go wet with the European, and yeah, we see that snow for North Mississippi and Arkansas. Again, you know, the, the GFS has been suggesting this for, you know, how long? Two weeks. Some storm out here around Groundhog's Day, which is Wednesday, and all of a sudden it's back on the European. Not necessarily for us. It'd be a close call, but maybe for Muscle Shoals and Memphis and Greenville, Mississippi. But, you know, this this is now getting into the period where it's not technically in the land of voodoo because it's within seven days. For now, we'll just mention a chance of rain, really, and I think we'll do it probably Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but obviously Wednesday could be the bigger rain day based on both models, and then Thursday it's gone, and this time the European shows no really cold air dump in here. It's cooler, but nothing harshly cold. We'll go out there a little deeper. How about the 9th of February? 
Trough axis off to the west. That's a close call for snow there. Another big 1,040 millibar high coming at us and a 148 high up in the Northwest Territories. And on the 11th, cold. Vort Max north of us, a little bit of light snow there if this is right. So, again, while we're excited about the warm-up this weekend, uh, inevitably, several more cold shots will be headed this way. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.